Evolutionary biology is a thriving field of science. Ideas are flooding in from other fields such as genomics, epigenetics, developmental biology and ecology. Innovation and thoughtful reflection is a natural aspect of science and that's what the extended evolutionary synthesis is all about. We want to help build an integrative evolutionary framework. We believe that researchers in the sciences, social sciences and humanities can all play a part. The extended evolutionary synthesis is a new way to think about and understand evolution. It extends traditional theory by recognising a broader set of causes. Knowledge of how organisms develop, grow and interact with their environment helps scientists to account for both the diversity of life and the processes of adaptation. We're interested in the idea that the way organisms develop shapes the direction and rate of their evolution and that inheritance occurs not just through the transmission of genes, but through many additional means, including the developmental conditions that parents construct for their offspring. The extended evolutionary synthesis is more than just a different way of thinking about evolution, however. It's an active research program. We're using our alternative perspective to generate new hypotheses, open up new lines of inquiry, and develop novel theory. Scientists at top universities are now putting these novel hypotheses to the test, conducting the critical experiments necessary to evaluate them and generating new theoretical predictions. Our research focuses on topics that all biologists are familiar with. Plasticity, niche construction, developmental bias and constraint, and inheritance. These topics have become particularly important because they highlight the differences in how researchers understand evolution. They are the disputed territory of contemporary biology, lying on an intellectual fault line that divides evolutionary biologists. The extended evolutionary synthesis seeks to get to the bottom of these differences. It's not designed to replace traditional thinking. Natural selection and genetic inheritance remain central, for instance, but rather it provides an alternative perspective that can motivate truly novel research. An exciting new vision of evolution is beginning to crystallise, and a concerted interdisciplinary effort is required to make sense of it.